it's time to talk about class struggles and public discourse now class struggles are very evident not only material things for example uh, such as possession dispossession or accumulation of wealth they also reveal some kind of class consciousness and class division but this can also be pursued class struggles or class warfare can also be pursued uh, symbolically through other through other sources also for example it can be pursued through media also all kinds of media in which certain types of messages are communicated to the masses in a particular fashion so that the established class division in a society which is obviously benefiting the elite is perpetuated is continued is persisted so that it may serve the interest of the elite and that's where uh, the role of critical discourse analyst becomes very important because he has to decode and unearth all those unhealthy activities or discourses which act instead of uh, reducing increase such kind of uh, divisions in a society and then uh, ultimately turn into kind of class struggles or uh, class warfare in many societies uh one example of this kind of class struggle can be seen in in the case of spain where there has been uh, a public discursive conflict between uh, the government uh, the uh, the conservative party in 2013 which was ruling the country and uh, uh, and the public in general and especially by an organization which is named as pah uh, and it it uh, actually represents uh, as a platform for those affected by mor- uh, mortgages mortgages for the houses so there were there was a debate about uh, policies of the government to secure or insecure those people who were unable to pay their uh, their mortgages for their homes which which they, they got through banks uh, but they were somehow because of certain socio economic conditions they were unable to pay those mortgages especially after the economic crisis in the country overall and they there there came a moment when they have to ev- uh, evict their houses and the government was not helping them according to this ph platform uh, was not helping those who are being evicted uh, a ph can be seen as a grassroots organization uh, which campaigns on behalf of individuals and families Who, who because of their unemployment lack of resources personal tragedy uh, or other events are unable to make a uh, mortgage or rent payments and then they are asked to to evict their places which is very unfortunate in any society uh, on the organization's website uh, i have given its reference down here you can see that one finds a mission statement in which the class based structure nature of the struggle facing evictees is made very clear around a contrast between they uh, in reference to the government and the banks uh, and the capitalist class who is who is the beneficiary of such evictions and we it's just about general uh, masses general population and the organization who is raising their vo- voice the voice who, who are being a voice of those who are being affected by such government policies uh and the ph uh, basically campaigns for the recovery of the right to housing in response to a generalized state of housing emergency they claim that uh the people should not be evicted from their uh houses even in even in case of non payment and government should come forward and support them or even if it is necessary uh, the people should be given some kind of alternative housing so that they do not uh, turn into or uh, some kind of uh, traumatic situations so to this situation as which i am quoting in this slide that there were uh, many traumatic events in which people even committed suicides because they were evicted from their house and uh, houses and they had no places to live so there was a lot of tragedies happening because of such policies in in spain in then spain uh but government was very reluctant to challenge that capitalist mindset in which people were simply refused to their places just because they couldn't pay mortgage because of uh, their unhealthy economic conditions and uh, in order to uh, fight this class 
warfare you can say or class struggle they they have been many many modalities which were adopted by ph and other other people who were involved in this kind of struggle uh, there were assemblies uh, which served to provide information as well as legal practical and emotional support to the people there was a web page who where people would express their views and uh, this organization would openly support it then there was a kind of presence or maybe another form of assembly also uh, at uh, home evictions where there would be a place uh, the people belonging to uh, this organization would reach to that 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 place which is being uh, which is being evicted so uh, in in such situations uh, they would support those who are being evicted and this can be seen as a very good uh, example for class warfare in which an attack on the material well-being of citizens uh, is being conducted via the actions of the government either government or by uh, the capitalist organizations or by the legal system or by the police police is also a party uh, in such situations because they have to abide by the rules of the government so uh, not the interest of the common people but interest of the rich and and already powerful uh, and very very affluent in economic terms are being served it is worth noting that this mechanism penetrates in into the socio political uh, is not reduced only to economic structure of society rather it is it goes deep do uh, down uh, into socio political structure of the society and that's where a uh, class struggle uh, is counted uh, is measured or you can say maybe investigated because sometimes this may be very obvious in kind of some uh, some public repertoire some public discourse maybe in media talk and sometimes it may be hidden it may not be that obvious but there would be a class struggle in most of world societies these days critical discourse analyst uh, analyst and students should look into such discourses critically and should find are they obvious in a society in the public discourse of a society or they are hidden somewhere and wherever they find it uh, they, they they need to look into that how into these discourses uh, the class division in societies is being uh, are being uh, per perpetuated or being uh, uh, furthered so that uh some policies some recommendations may be made to to reduce class division in a society